hi everyone welcome back to at another video so i'm going to start a new video series in java for those who are passionate about java programming this is for you and especially for the automation testers who really wish to know about the java concepts so let's get started Okay, I'm starting from scratch. So to run any Java program, we need to have a JDK or JRE installed in our machine. JDK means Java Development Kit, and JRE means Java Runtime Environment. In my upcoming videos, uh, we can learn about these in detail. For now, let us install those so that we can run our Java program. So to install JDK, just search JDK. download so open this uh, oracle website and you here you can see all the jdk files and the version so we can install the latest version you click on this so you'll be redirected to this particular page and here you can select your uh, operating system So minus Windows 64 bit so that I can download this installer Windows X64 installer and I'm going to download the exe file not the zip file just click on this so you will be getting this pop up and you can click I review and accept the license agreement for Oracle click on this and you can click the download button here so it will start downloading let me cancel it because I've already downloaded this file in my machine so now we can start installing this. But before installing, let us check whether Java is already installed in our machine or not. For that, you can open command prompt Java. Just type Java hyphen version. So if you're getting this error, like Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means Java is not installed in your machine. You can even type a Java command, Java C, that is to compile the Java program. So this uh, that command also will give you the same message. Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command. So it confirms that Java is not installed in our machine already. So now we can start installing our uh, JDK. So let me open the downloads file, downloads folder where I have the JDK, the latest version 14. Let me open this, and here you will be able to see a screen. Do you want to allow to this app to make changes to your device? Just click yes. Then you will be getting a Java Development Kit 14 setup. Here you can click next. And here you'll be able to see a path, C program files, Java JDK 14. So this will be the folder where uh, your JDK 14 is going to be installed. So if you want, you can change the uh, folder path, but I recommend to use uh, the same path. Uh, if there is no other like a particular reason, you can um, use the same path only, and you can click next again. So now it will start extracting installer. So now you can see a window that is the it's complete. So it's successfully installed. So we can click on the close button. Now we'll open our uh, just close this command prompt and we'll open a new command. Let's click type Java hyphen version. Still it is showing Java is not recognized an internal or external command. because after installing the jdk we have to set up the environment variable for this so that it can identify the jdk anywhere from your command prompt since mine is in a different folder location so that we have to give the exact location where jdk is installed where jdk is present so let us open this pc this go to c drive click on this program files and here you will be able to see a java folder so you can see the jdk 14 folder and you are uh, and in the previous versions if you have ever time installed the some java old versions you will be able to see a separate folder here jdk and jre separately but uh, for the latest version and all jre is installed along with the jdk installation okay 
so now uh, gdk is present in this particular folder we can go inside and this is an important folder that has been folder where all the where many important java files are stored so you can copy this particular uh, path go to right click on this system properties and here you can click advanced system settings click on this environment variable and here you'll be able to see path and click on this edit and here you can give new and here you can paste your path over here okay and just click on this ok ok and now let us open a new command prompt and just type java hyphen version see now we are able to see the java version the latest version 14 is present in our machine now so what we have done now we have set a environment property and a uh, path and the value was the folder location where the JRD, JDK is installed. So why to set this path? This is for identifying uh, the JDK location so that you can run any Java program anywhere through your command prompt. Anywhere in the sense, any directory. Okay, so you can open any directory in the command prompt and you can run your Java program. It will identify the JDK location. So make sure that you are opening a new command prompt after installing the Java in your system because otherwise it will uh, it won't be reflecting the latest changes. Now we can set one more variable which is uh, Java Home. Java Home is required by some Java based uh, programs or uh, Java based ID. So let me close this. You can again go to this PC and right click on this properties and this advanced system settings and environment variables you can add the java home variable either in the user variable section or in a system variables okay so i'm going to add it in the user variables click on this new here you can type java underscore home and here you can give you don't you don't need to give the entire uh, folder path just remove this bin folder so up to this is enough for the java home variable okay up to gdk 14 that means uh, c program files java gdk up to this you can give as your java home variable and click on this ok so the java home you will be able to see in the user variable section and click on this ok and again ok and we can open a new command prompt again just confirm by typing java hyphen version and you'll be able to see the version again java version is 14 and using java c also you can find out the version here java c hyphen version java c is for a command to compile your java program so it again gave 14 and if you simply type java c initially what we got we got something like it is not organized as a internal command right now we'll be getting a list of options because this is a command to compile the java program now, if you want to print out the value of the path variable or java home variable from the command prompt, you can do that just by typing echo percent path percent. So, you'll be able to see the path that we have added now, right? Program file JDK bin folder. Similarly, we can type person java underscore home. So you'll be able to see the GDK 14 folder path location. So what is this path actually? We are we giving the bin folder location as the path variable. So those things we can learn in my next video with a Java example. Uh, hope you are enjoying this video. If so, please like the like button and also please subscribe to my channel. And so we'll see you with another video next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.